In today's video, we will focus how we can add calendar to a modern SharePoint page. So basically, we will see uh, these three things here. Uh, one thing is how we can display the calendar uh, in a modern SharePoint site by using the event web part and then how we can use uh, the embed web part and the last one we'll see here is how to display events from multiple uh, websites in SharePoint online site. So now let me open the SharePoint site. You can see here this is a SharePoint site, modern SharePoint site. I have a calendar list. So behind the scene when you will create a calendar it is nothing but a list. So you can see there are certain events are there. So we will use uh, the uh, first we'll see how we can use the event web part here to display it. But why we required an event web part? So let me go to the pages and then you can see here there is a calendar.aspx page is there. Now this is a site page where uh, you want to display the modern calendar. Now you can you might want to display in the home page as well. So the everything is same, the logic is same how we will display in a site page. Now here if we will edit this page uh, then let me add a section here so I will add a, a one third right section here. Now as I said your calendar is nothing but a list but when I will choose a list to a part here uh, you can see uh, but you will not see that option here. So if you will see here we have a registration sales training and user emails. But this calendar this info team calendar uh, list is not appearing here you can see. So we cannot use this list web part to display the uh, calendar over here in the modern SharePoint site. So now let me delete it. So what you can do here is click on plus and then search for events. So if you will see here when you will search for events you can see there is a modern event web part is there. Now when you will uh, do the modern web part you can see here by default it is uh, picking up the items from this calendar since we have only one calendar so it is picking up directly so you can provide a name here suppose I will say TS info team events you can see uh, if you will republish the page uh, you can see here the event is or the, the calendar is appearing here now let me show you some of the configuration options how we can use it so again I will click on edit and then this is a small icon you can see here edit web part so once you edit it here is the all this information you can see available over here so first one is the source where exactly the uh, calendar is available you can see here in this case i will uh, choose this site or you can even choose the site collection all site and you can select site so we will see uh, select site how we can do that by you uh, when you will see how we can uh, add events or display events from multiple sites. The second one you can see here there is a TS info or calendar. So we have one list that says then you can see only one list is there. If you have multiple you can see multiple and you can uh, uh, select a particular one if you want to, to uh, show that event. And then uh, the category. So if you want to show the category, uh, let's say I want to show only the birth dates. You can see here. Then you will be able to see only the birthday uh, events over here. Now how this category is coming? The category is coming from the calendar. You can see. Uh, so if you will try to add one item here into the list you can see here there is a category so you have to whatever the items you will select it will come from that only so next is the date range so you, if you want to display uh, uh, all upcoming events this week events next week this month this quarter even or you can select a date range so when you will select a date range you can see here there is a from and to from where you can select uh, the events or you can select the date range so let's we will put uh, all upcoming events now this layout you can see here there is a film strip and then compact so if you see select compact you can see here this is how the look and feel is coming so this look and feel will be uh, this is a good option if you have a one by three column layout you have selected so that means in a small layout if you want to display it then you can select this compact one this this will really look good the last one you can see here how many uh, items you want to display so you can choose a value from uh, 1 to 200 uh, let's say if you will put uh, you know 2000 you can see there is an error which is saying you 
uh, have to enter a value from 1 and 200 so uh, up to 200 items you can display an, at one time in the calendar so this is how we can use the SharePoint online uh, modern uh, or the calendar web part in a modern page now then I said how we can display it using the um, embed web part but before that let us see how we can display uh, the calendar or the events from multiple websites so if you'll see here I have one more website you can see here in SharePoint I'll go to the site content and then if you'll see here I have one more calendar event calendar you can see in your SharePoint events you can see here this is also I have one more calendar so what we'll do here is if I will go to here uh, now let's edit this page you can see here this is the page where now we will see how we can display the events from multiple uh, uh, sites so in this case instead of selecting uh, events from uh, on the site or the list in this site uh, so you can select a site you can see here uh, you have the option uh, from where you want to select it for example in this case now let's select the current site which is the sp guide site as well as the event site so once you can see here uh, once you select this uh, so both the uh, site i have selected that means the events are now coming from both the sites and that is the reason you can see here this is from sp guides this one is for enjoy sharepoint you can see um, uh, so if you'll go to the next you can see here sp guide enjoy sharepoint enjoy sharepoint so it will pick the events from more than one sites and also you can category you can select the category here let's say maybe you want to see the birth date so that category if you'll select it you can see here it will come that way so you can uh, select a category and then you can say uh, you can uh, select this upcoming events layout all these options are same so this way you will be able to if i replace uh, republish it you can see here now this is events from multiple sites so this way you will be able to display events from multiple uh, uh, sites in this calendar web part now next i will show you how we can uh, display the events by using a embed web part now this is a problem here uh, you can see here it is so you have to create the iframe on this if you want to use a embed web part this is nothing but the calendar url so if i'll pick this url so simply copy this url and then you can make something like this so in the iframe you provide a source and then width and height so you can provide so i'll copy this much here and then i'll go to our page so simply edit this page i will come here and uh, this time i will add the embed web part so i uh, you can see here this is the embed web part simply paste this this one this code which is the iframe code and now you can see here our calendar is appearing here but this calendar it is not the look and feel is not like the modern calendar the problem is it will display everything here you can see here the page art as it is it is displaying in this embed web part so it will republish it you can see here uh, as a page you will be able to see it for example here logo everything you can see as it is uh, the left navigation everything it is coming so if you want to uh, do some kind of customization it probably you can add a script editor web part in this page then you can remove everything every div except this your calendar so this that kind of little customization you can do and then you can you will be able to display the calendar but the best recommendation approach is you can use the event web part to display the calendar or the events from multiple sites or from the same site so this is how we can use uh, or we can display sharepoint online calendar in the modern page so 